There's no shortcut to trust anymore in journalism, and that's freaking us out. When I think of who I trust that I get information from, it depends on a bunch of circumstances. It could be someone on Facebook. It could be a friend who just tweeted something. And I have to evaluate what they've said in the context of how they've said it. It's not just about, oh, trust the New York Times, trust CNN, trust NPR. Well, I think what's interesting is that the audience has more control than ever over the success of a news organization. So it's important that the audience believe in the credibility of a news organization. And you get credibility through sound ethical judgment, sound ethical choices, sound ethical practices. Journalism ethics, as we've thought about them so far, have been about journalists share information and everyone else consumes it. But that's not the world we live in anymore. And we need to ask, what's the new relationship between news creator and news reader? Journalism is becoming an act as much of, as a craft. So we have people who are practicing journalism who aren't defined as journalists. And often, if you work in media in any way, you may at some point have to practice journalism. So why not read a book that tells you how to do it right? Journalism has this really important role to play in democracy, and journalism doesn't work the same way it used to. The audience doesn't get information the way they did 10 or 15 years ago. So why would we think that the ethical framework that we use to do journalism would work the same way that it did a decade ago? So we gathered together some of the thought leaders in this area of ethics in journalism and asked them to address some of the most difficult topics that we face today. What we came up with is a new framework for making ethical decisions in the 21st century that's based on how journalism works today rather than how it used to work in the age of mass communication. I'm very uh, pleased and impressed that this book carries on Cornish tradition of thought leadership in journalism and practical guidelines for media ethics. It connects Bob Steele's work of about 25 years ago on guidelines for journalists with the needs of digital journalists today, what they need to think about, how they need to act in terms of their ethical practices. And we need to ask, what's the new relationship between news creator and news reader? Those roles are not so discreet anymore. So when do they intersect? When do they overlap? And how does the role of the journalist change in that world where everyone can inform themselves? Hey, I just want news I can trust. If journalists follow the guidelines in this book, that'll happen.